Dustin Thomas earlier today at the first from off the green his third shot. Dietrich, who we watched early on playing so well. This is second at the second. Excuse me, at the 10. Nice little bounce forward considering how many shots we've seen spin back today. Well, your first tournament is going to be at Pebble Beach. Little different setting, the, the conditions with the rain early on, but he started right away. Back over at the first, Ricky Fowler, center of the fairway. So a stat from the, the comms department yesterday. Bogey free 67 for Ricky Fowler. Oh, nice catch. Good start. Quickly to one under. Second hole's a par five. Two shots just up front. I mean, he was very honest about it. So I got a great start, right? Three under. Understatement. And let's see if the world number one can't get something going with this club. This has been the absolute. To say something's holding Scotty Scheffler back was, is crazy because he's unbelievable. But when those start going in, look out. Oh, how good is good that from Cantlay right out of the gate says, OK, he can make this with his eyes closed. Some do. Some do. Rio to pull within one of the lead Emiliano. Oh my and he does trips it in beautifully nine under. Here comes world number one. Keeks playing with Tom Brady. And from way downtown, bang, Bradley connects five under. Jordan teed off just before 9 a.m. local time. Short par three, seven. Yeah, he sort of flighted this one a little higher than most players were just trying to hit knockdowns. That's why he got so much spin. I mean, it, it's becoming a horse race. I mean, the guys are on the whip here early. Pretty slow putting up the hill. Should work left, but maybe not as much as you might think. How about that? Are you serious, Carney? Set up a little bit right of the hole. Bang. 11 under. I think in heavy wind, you have to be able to do it both ways. Okay. Sometimes you need to swing it with the wind. Sometimes. You want to hold it up against the wind. It all depends on where the trouble is. Trackman Technology is presented by Titleist, the number one ball in golf on cue, Jay. Good a shot as we've seen today at five. This is for Ricky to get to seven under. And these guys are all relaxed. Reacting to as Bradley makes that birdie putt at number two. These guys are all reacting to the same visual cues for the first time that day for them. Get it perfectly. Ahead to 16. Dietrich still leads by two. Yeah, pushed that whole location, pushed way on the right. So great angle from the left side of the fairway and excellent okay, shot. Couldn't place it there any better, right underneath the hole. Work it a little bit to the left, and then it'll try to drift back to the right. So kind of a double break on this one. Okay, the line looks pretty good. You must have heard you, Mark. Great read, great putt. Obviously, he'll get over that quickly. This also heading towards the back middle of the green. Oh! Kind of flew it all the way to the back fringe there. This is probably one of the most photographed holes or greens. So it made birdie at four, and then this at seven. Remember last year, his first professional stop. Fowler here for his third birdie of the day. This is a pretty good position to putt from. And a yes, great result. I mean, because there was no spin on that. And JT does a great job of minimizing the spin, so. Seven T. Scotty Scheffler ready to go. Looks like he can really throw it down from that T. 111 yards. Look out. Same hole that Tony Finau hit the driver on in the <laughs> practice round on Wednesday. Okay. Scheffler. 
Yeah. <laughs> Has a great second round scoring average. Can't lay now for birdie. I'm give it about 15 feet. Now, this putt feels like it wants to go to the right, but it's wants to go. Really does it, but he really <laughs> feels like it wants to go right in, and right in. Yeah, exactly. Currently two over for the round. So that's not too bad. He actually double bogeyed the 18th hole, which was his ninth. Ahead of Hoberg now at the 11th, second shot. Just trying to take some spin off of this 80 yard shot. Oh, watch out. Wow, that's coming back a good 10 feet short. Now for Birdie at the 11th. Should be moving a little right to left up the hill. There you go. Snuck it in there. First time he's ever led the first round. He's had two leads and he makes birdie there and he's continuing with the lead by three now. Oh, way below his feet, just from 131 yards. It's not a pretty good roll today. Excellent play right there. Good chance for another birdie for Scheffler. Get the minus eight. Oh, that hopped early. Can't stop a good pot. Back to back birdies at 14 and 15 gets. Oberg here at 14 to share. Good luck. Have the line. Yep. I can't tell you how impressed I am with this young man, that's for sure. Frank. Hey, always oh, just cruising along, it seems. It, it. One hundred percent now. Preserved it. Excellent third from the right rough. A couple of 68s, eight under to get it to nine under. Got a pretty good idea what this one does. Taylor Moore make it right in front of him. Why not? Ricky Fowler will work from the rough here at 14. That is an excellent shot. Short sided, had to flip it over a bunker and manage the spin coming out of the rough. Got the look. Finally, it happened. One of the more unlikely putts he was going to make today. Like it was going to, right here is what you're referring to. It looks like it's going to take the bottom edge and horseshoe. You got a pitch in that green to actually lip in uphill. More relief than anything else that one went in. All right, defending champ Justin Rose here at 15. Last time to defend here was Dustin Johnson in 2010, but that'll help. Nice shot there. All right, nice birdie. Better than that. Ho hum. Putter is woke, is awake now. Yeah, it does. Brilliant. Hey, Berg looked good. Scheffler, even better. Back to back birdies to finish in a 64 for Scotty Scheffler, number one in the world and number one on the leaderboard with two others here. Back with you tomorrow, 1 o'clock Eastern Time on Golf Channel CBS at 3 o'clock. Surf's been up throughout and should continue that way. We do expect 
some wind. They weren't exactly right with the forecast today. That was supposed to rain a lot. This oh, so you're blaming them now? I thought it was a beautiful day. Actually, you gave me the forecast, so I'll blame you. I'm not sure. But uh, tomorrow, maybe get by, and then on Sunday, it'd be dicey with the wind. Dicey? Really dicey or just a little? Uh, it could be. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.